Hey everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress blog on WordPress.com that's very similar to my site, HerschelPatel.com, complete with your first blog post as well as how to create a quick page. So before we begin, you're going to need a few things. First is a image of a logo, and that image file needs to be preferably in a transparent PNG file at least a thousand pixels wide. Next is a fav icon, which is a favorite icon or bookmark icon, depending on what you want to call it, um, that appears like in this example right here, where um, you see the icon of my website shows up in the browser. If I were to bookmark this, it would show up as a bookmark. And if I were to save it on my smartphone to my homepage, for example, that same icon would appear there. The next thing you'll need is at least five pre-written blog posts. Now, all of my friends, family, colleagues, and network that ever ask me for advice on creating their first blog or a blog section on their website, I always recommend having at least five blog posts already written before you even begin. And the reason for this is when you create your blog or your website with a blog and you send all of your family there and friends and colleagues and network, the worst thing that could possibly happen is for them to go over the blog and it be empty or only have one post. So before you begin, it's always good to have at least five blog posts. The other thing is, is if you've committed yourself to, let's just say, having one blog post per week created, well, now you're five weeks ahead. And so as you create new blog posts, um, and maybe there's a lapse of a week or two, at least you have the next few weeks covered. The last thing you're going to need, at least in this example, is an about me section or the content of some page you would like to create. This is a static page that's different than a blog post or your blog page. In this example, I'm using an about me because generally on any blog, you'll see that a lot of people, they have a little bit about themselves and why they're qualified or a little bit of background about how their blog began, etc. So to start off, we're going to go over to WordPress.com. Now, when you get to WordPress.com, uh, you'll find a start your website button here. Um, of course, the homepage of WordPress.com is changing all the time. So the one sure way to get there is right here where it says get started. This button probably won't move in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that right now. Now in this step, um, you're taken to the login screen. You could either log in uh, or create your account. Here is uh, where you can create the account. Or what I'm gonna do since I already have an account is to jump over here to this link and go ahead and log in. Now, whether you log in or you've created an account, it's gonna take you to this step where it's asking you what kind of site are you building? Of course, in this example, like I said, we are creating a free blog. The next question is, what is your blog about? In this example, I'm just going to create a travel blog since that is already there. But you can type things like, hey, this is a, a business site. And so it'll give you a preview of uh, something they've put together that I guess looks business-like or something. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a little travel blog and click continue. Now, the same template I'm going to use is also good for photography blogs, for food blogs, for local blogs, and so it's a very universal theme that I'm going to be using. So now it's asking for a name for the blog. I'm going to give it uh, the name Herschel's Travel Adventures and click continue. Now this step is where things get a little tricky. So it's asking you to get a domain. Now what WordPress.com is trying to do is trying to direct you to a purchase. Like I promised you, I'm going to help you create this for free. So just follow these steps. So you can put in any um, website name here, and it'll give you some suggestions of, you know, suffixes that it may want or whatever. Whatever it presents, we're going to click right here to review our plans to get started. We're going to click there, and then just select this personal one. And then it's going to take you to this screen. Now, it shows you that your site's already being created. It hasn't asked for any payment information. You haven't paid a dime yet. So what we're gonna do is just skip all this and go back to WordPress.com. Now you'll find that you're already logged in and it says your site's been created. And over here in the plan section, it shows that your plan is free. Now you're probably wondering, hey, what is this site? Where is it? Well, right up here, you'll begin to see a little preview of a URL. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then right up here, it's going to give me this URL. Now I'm going to open a new tab and go, and go ahead and go to that URL. And you'll see that the site's already there. Now up here, it does say your site has not been launched yet. And we'll do that in a second. But 
You'll also notice that the URL is something very unattractive, very hard to tell your friends and family about, and colleagues. And so what we're going to do right now, real quick, is to change this to something that's a little more friendly. So I'm going to go back, click the Manage tab, and then go to Domains. Now over here you'll see that that big, long, ugly URL shows up here. So I'm going to click that, and then it'll give me the option to change site address. And I'm just going to call it Herschel Travel. And it says that it's available. I'm going to go ahead and change the site address. And then it kind of warns me about the risks, which there aren't any yet. And I'm going to go ahead and change site address. So now we've changed the URL of a site to something a little easier to remember and to let people know about. Now we're going to go and start to design the site a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a theme that I think is really good to use for beginners. And I even use it on my site. So um, we're going to go over here to the design tab and go to themes. And we're going to apply this 2020 theme. So I'm going to go ahead and click that theme and activate this design. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, to uh, view the site. And then um, so you can see that the theme has already been applied. I'm going to close that, go back to my site. And the reason why I really like the 2020 theme is because it was created by the makers of WordPress. And so all of the features that WordPress have, all of the plugins, they're designed to actually work perfectly with 2020. And so anything you do, whether it's fancy galleries you want to apply later or things with images or fonts or anything else, it's going to work really well with the 2020 theme because the 2020 theme is created to use WordPress the way it was intended. So now that we've got our theme there, the next thing we want to do is add our logo, the fav icon that I mentioned before, and then we'll get on to creating our first blog post. So in order to put in your logo, we're going to go over to design again, now to customize. And we're going to go right down each of these options. So first, we're going to go to site identity. You want to make sure that your site title is what you want it to be. And then the tagline, it could be anything. I travel the world and talk about it. And uh, so that's a little tagline. You'll see that it shows up there. Now we're going to apply our logo. So the logo, like I said, I've already got one that's ready to go. So I clicked, just to let you know, I clicked select logo. Now I'm going to jump back here to where I've actually got my logo ready to go already. I'm going to drag it and drop it right in. Now, as you can see, the logo is already loaded. I'm going to drag this back and hit select. Now it's going to ask me to crop my logo. I'm just going to skip that for now. I don't really need to crop it. And as you can see, it's tossed it in there. It's really nice looking. And I'm going to check the retina logo uh, option as well so that my logo looks nice and smooth and crisp on retina screens. The next thing is that fav icon that I mentioned before. So I'm going to do the same, select the icon and then drop in my icon. Let's go back and I'm going to hit select. No cropping really necessary, but I'll go ahead and crop it since that's the only option it gave me. And the icon is there. You don't see it anywhere just yet, but we'll, we'll get there in a second. Now that we're going to go through this footer credit real quick. Um, it gives you a bunch of options. Because you were using the free version, um, you do have to give WordPress.com some credit. So you can really select any of these, doesn't really matter. And then uh, we'll go and hit save. Now heading back, the next thing we're gonna edit is the colors. Um, background color, um, as you can see in this preview, you can actually change the color of your blog background to any color you'd like. And as you can see, the font colors actually change automatically depending on how light or dark the color is. So just for simplicity, I'm just going to go with a white color. And then your header and footer background colors, which are that nav bar at the top and the footer at the bottom of the page. Because I've got a black logo and I don't want it to disappear, I'm going to go with something kind of grayish. And I'm going to hit save once again, go back. Now for theme options. Um, here you'll see a number of options show up depending on what theme you're using. But in this section, um, for example, I don't think there's any reason for a search bar on my blog. I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck that and you'll see that it disappears over here. So 
that's the only option that I really care about. Um, author bio doesn't really matter to me either, um, but I'm going to go ahead and save that now. And then I'm going to go back. So I'm going to jump over the cover template because we don't really need that for, that for this tutorial. And I'm going to go over to the font section. In this section, you can edit the fonts that you want appearing on your site. Um, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and just go with the default on this one. I think it looks nice. It looks clean. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go back. And I'm going to jump over everything to go over to the home page settings section. Now, what I want to do is on the home page of my site, I actually just want to keep my latest post there. And I don't need a static home page if it's going to be a blog. So I'm going to go ahead and um, select that option. And then we're going to select to go ahead and hide the page title and hit save. Now I'm going to hit the X here. Let's go all the way back. And now let's create our first blog post. Um, what we're going to do is go to site posts. And as you can see, there's actually two example posts that WordPress has already stuck in there for us. So what I'm going to do is actually just delete both of these. And very quickly, they've now been moved to trash. And I'm going to add a new post. Now, this post is going to be my Taj Mahal post. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in a bunch of text that I copied off of Wikipedia, just for demonstration's sake. And now I have my title and the body of my blog post. The next thing I want to do is have a featured image. So once again, you can click there. And I'm going to pop over here because I've already got an image ready to go of the Taj Mahal that I shot that I'm very proud of, by the way. And I'm going to hit insert. Now, as you can see, that image doesn't appear anywhere here, but it does appear right here in this preview section. And I'll show you where it actually shows up in the blog itself. So I'm going to hit publish here. And now we can go to view post. Now, this is where the image will show. Now, this is the individual page for this post but what we can do is actually pop back to the home page and it shows up there too now let's just say you don't want your readers to see the entire post right there on the home page what we can do is actually edit the post now in between paragraphs you'll see this little plus sign appear now if that doesn't appear then you probably have to add a space before the first and second paragraph so this should always appear between paragraphs i'm going to click that and I'm going to type the word more and you'll see that this more option has come up. Now I'm going to go ahead and click that and show you what it actually does. Um, I put that in and I'm going to hit update. Now we're going to go back to the blog post and now you can see, well, we're on the post, but if I go to the home page, you'll see that it actually inserts a continue reading button right after the first paragraph and now takes me to the blog post. Now the next thing we're going to do is create an about me page. So we're going to go back to my site, pages. And as you can see, once again, WordPress has kind of created two pages already for us. We're going to remove them. Now, as promised, I'm going to create a about me page. I've already got some pre-written text, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. And then what I'm going to do is put in a photo on the about me section. And I'm going to click over here to add block, select an image. And as before, I've already got an image ready to go. I'm going to click upload. And there you have a photo of one very enthusiastic traveler. And now this is going to appear a little bit goofy right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So now you've got an About Me page. So up here, you'll see that the About Me has already popped up in the navigation bar. So what I'm going to do is actually going to go back here and show you how to edit that menu if you need to. Over here in Customize, we're going to run down to the Menu section and click on Primary. And now what you can do is put in pages. So I now that we've deleted two pages, you'll see that two of these items actually appear invalid. So we're going to remove those. And we're going to add items. Add the home page and add the about me. And hit save. And then it's asking, where do you want to add this menu? Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the desktop 
horizontal menu. So now you see that it's come up there. And that's pretty much it. The mobile menu, that's good to have. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna hit save, go back, and you'll see that that is now there. So the last thing you wanna do is, we wanna get rid of this banner now. So um, I'm gonna go back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch our site. So I'm gonna click over here on the, um, the URL over here and then click launch site. Now it's gonna ask you to give your site an address. We're gonna go ahead and skip purchase and continue with your free site. And there you go, the site is now live. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna go ahead and leave this site up so uh, it'll serve as an example for you guys. If you have any other questions, please comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Subscribe. Thank you.